Hello everyone. Hope uh, all of you are doing well. So today I come again with a new topic in success factors and uh, today uh, we are going to discuss as you see from the thumbnail uh, that how to map a custom field from EC to EP means employee central to employee profile and after mapping that how to see that custom field from employee profile to LMS learning management system and uh, to show that we have picked up one scenario and uh, our scenario today sync employee status field from employee central to learning management system to do, do that as you know uh, we are talking about two systems first one is the employee central and another is the learning management now uh, to sync a field between employee central to learning management system we need to go through via basic info file or employee profile file or hris file so this is the file which is uh, lying under both of these systems and it will be used to transfer data from one system to another system so first uh, step is we need to uh, flow the data or sync the data from employee central to EP that is the step one and uh, to do these tasks the responsible job we have to use here hri and sync job and from now ec uh, employee profile file to lms to transfer the data there are two stages first stage is we have to use one export job that will export the employee profile data from EP to SFTP server and from SFTP server we need to pull the data to LMS via LMS connectors so this is the full design we can sync one EC field to LMS uh, so let's check it in the system how it works so now uh, we have logged in to the system instance and uh, we came to do a tool called manage business configuration and that tool we have come to the HRS element for job information so here as per our requirement we have created one custom field called PC employee status so one question can be raised uh, employee status this field is already available when we check any employees job information then why we create this custom field so uh, if you notice you try to search employee status you can see there is no standard employee status field but it is available in two event reason basically this employee status field is a part of event reason so not directly with employees job information so if we want to pass the data uh, from employees job information to LMS to sync the employee status field there is no specifically any employee status field in employees job information so we cannot do that directly that's why we create a custom field called EC employee status as you see the technical name we have chosen here uh, custom string 23 and now we'll apply one business rule to copy the event reasons employee status data to job information custom employee status field to do that we have already built one uh, business rule let's check the business rule
so here is the business rule as you see the base object is of this business rule is chosen as job information and the rule is written if condition is always strict as true and in the then part we have said job information ec employee status field is to be equal to job information employee status which is coming from event reason okay so uh, when in any change happened to employees job information so this field's data should be copied from event reasons employee status field that's why we, we apply this business rule on on save event now uh, the next step is we need to maintain one mapping of this custom field uh, that means custom ec employee status field that we have created now in job information to employee profile so let's check it how to do that we have to go to employee profile section now and into employee profile you can find standard if you open that key uh, you can find there is total 15 custom fields uh, are available so these fields are basically uh, so these fields are basically supplied by success factor so that if we want to create any custom field in employee profile we can create that but the limitation is 15 we, uh, beyond these 15 fields we cannot create any custom field in employee profile so here in custom 14 we have already uh, maintained this uh, employee status field we have changed the level to employee status uh, default level is also changed as employee status we have enabled this field and the maximum length is maintained as 255 it can be uh, anything as per your requirement our int intention is to map this field with uh, the custom field we have created in job information if you want to maintain any permission you can set uh, here as well uh, read or write whatever the permission you can say or if you don't want you can uh, leave it as none now uh, let's see how we can map this uh, custom ep field with custom ec field and let's search our employee status field let's go to the details and if you come in the details you can find hri sync mapping standard field so here uh, if you want to maintain the hard coded syncing between ecp ep then we can maintain those ep field here so here you can see we have already maintained that employee status that we custom portion field in, in this section so that means that uh, this custom ec field is now mapped with custom ep field so let's check how it works yeah yeah now uh, we have uh, already, already maintained the mapping between ec custom field to ep custom field now we have to set the hri sync job uh, so that uh, our ec field data can flow to EP and to do that uh, we have to go to provisioning uh, right now we have uh, come to the provisioning system and there we need to set up uh, one job for HRS sync as you see one job has been set up here already and if you check the details of the job as you see the contact information business address and mainly what is required for our purpose that is the uh, job information that is also selected in this shop uh, so that uh, if we schedule this HRS same job that will automatically pick up the job information and other relevant information record from employee center to employee profile as per the mapping is maintained between these two high HRS centers. Now uh, if we want to test the mapping is working fine or not 
we can uh, make some changes in any employee's job information and save that change and come to export employee and download that EPFAR means employee records let's uh, download it first yeah now we download it and open the file and here you can see uh, we have made changes on one employee uh, that we created for our testing purpose test employee now let's go to custom stream 14 yeah this is custom stream 14 and here you can see the employee status field is mapped to pc and it is picking the value from employee uh, employees job information custom field so our mapping is working now uh, we need to schedule another job to export the lms data from p to sftp server so to do that we need to schedule one job for lms as you see in the screen in the provisioning uh, we already created and scheduled one job and uh, if you check the job details the job details we can see uh, the job parameter we need to take required for success factor learning sync this is the job parameter we need to choose and job type should be employee export that is important what the job type you need to choose here and character encoding it is preferable to set unicode because in your pp file if there is any foreign co uh, characters and if you want to pass those foreign characters as it is to lms system then obviously you need to set the character encoding as uniform and then you need to see the server access as well uh, sftp server access you need to configure and need to set that here as well so that your ep file can be transferred to you SF sftp server now the last step is we need to uh, maintain the mapping in the learning management systems uh, in specifically in the LMS connectors for that you need to log into LMS system so we logged in now uh, the LMS system this is the one and first we need to go to system admin tab then uh, we need to go to configuration and go to system configuration and within system configuration we need to go to connectors So this is the connected details. Here uh, we need to search SF user field mapping. If you search this and uh, try to find our employee status field, yeah, this one. SF user field mapping uh, dot data dot PNC underscore stat underscore ID so this field is basically configured in LMS for employee status and here we map our custom 14 means custom field from employee profile so if we map this one then automatically the connectors will pull the data from custom 14 from EP file into LMS employee status field so we have maintained this mapping and uh, after maintaining this mapping we need to run that lms export job that we scheduled in uh, provisioning and uh, as per the job scheduled uh, if the job run, run successfully and LM, uh, lms connectors pull the data then we can check the test result uh, like this let's check the test result how it looks like Now coming to the users tab and try to find our test user uh, employee so this is the employee status field in our test employee uh, in LMS which is getting synced with 
uh, EC uh, custom field as we configured. So these are the steps for syncing uh, fields data between EC to LMS. So hope you enjoyed the video. We can learn something new today and keep watching. And please help to subscribe so that if any new video I uh, prepared and upload in YouTube, uh, you can get the notification at the earliest. Thank you. Keep loving you. Keep watching. Happy learning. Thank you.